What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video we are answering the question of how do I display an image in Python? And to do so, there's a couple ways that you can do this, but I'm going to show you one way using a library that we'll have to install using pip called OpenCV. Now, when you go to install OpenCV, there's two different packages of OpenCV that you can install. You can install just the regular old OpenCV package or you can install the OpenCV contrib package. However, I want to note that you don't want to install both at the same time because sometimes they can have conflicts. When you do install these as Python packages, you basically just need one or the other. So I'm just going to show you what command you'd use to install um, the just the regular OpenCV package. Now I am using a uh, virtual environment. You can see that because it's indicated here. Um, if you're not using a virtual environment, I highly recommend that you do so. And if you're not sure what the heck that is, I have a couple of videos that I'll post um, or I'll leave some sort of link that you can you can go out and watch them and, and create your virtual environment and how they work and why they're important. Um, but essentially, uh, once we have that all activated and everything, you can just type in the command pip install, um, and then I believe it's opencv-python, and um, we'll go ahead and get this installed, and it'll go ahead and download everything that's needed. Um, you can see we're, that we're downloading the late, latest version of OpenCV, which is 4.8 at this time of the recording. All right, so that's now installed, and what we can do is essentially go in and type in import CV2, and just like that, we should have um, OpenCV ready to use so that we can load and display our image. All right, so now that we have uh, Open CV installed, we can now go ahead and use our string right here, which is the path to our image, which the image that we're gonna be using today is essentially um, this image right here, which is basically the image to a word search book that I created fully using Python um, with the help of Jack, uh, with the help of chat GPT and whatnot. But, um, if, and if you're interested in how I created this, uh, I can basically take uh, Python code, create a word search and sell it on Amazon, you know, uh, hit, you know, leave a comment below and I'll create a video on, on the process that I did there. Um, but essentially this is the book cover and we're just gonna display this. Um, but to do that, we have to load it into actual memory that we can use. So to do that, essentially what we need to do is we just need to create an image. What I like to do is I just call it IMG for the image variable. And then we say uh, CV2 dot, and then we say I am uh, read, and then we give it the path. So if you look at the IntelliSense that our IDE helps us with, it says that image read takes in the file name um, or the path to the file and then any flags that you may have. So for our case, we just need to put image path. Um, and then just like that, that should, if we run this, um, we shouldn't get any errors. Nothing should be displayed at this time um, because all we're doing is um, basically loading it in. And to show that it's loaded in, we could do something like print IMG and then, if we run this, you'll see that what happens is, is we get this big old, um, what looks to be like, you know, a, a uh, 2D or 3D um, array, which is basically um, just a, essentially a numpy array of all the values, all the values of the pixel values with our, within our image. Um, and so that's sh right there shows us that we have it loaded in. And now we can go ahead and show you what you need to do to display that. All right, so now that we have our image loaded in, basically you can use one a one function call within the OpenCV library to help you display that image. And essentially, you're just gonna do cv2 dot im show. And then from the IntelliSense here, it says that there's three different options, but essentially you're gonna give it a string is the first argument, which is gonna be like the, the, the title of your window that's gonna pop up. And then you're gonna pass in the mat object. Or, or the image object in our case. Um, and then there's a couple other ones that you could do. Um, but again, it's just the string and basically the image object. So for our case, we're gonna say test, and then we're going to say um, image, just like that. Now, if we run this, you'll something interesting happens. And you'll see that that something interesting happened is that nothing displays. Now, the reason is this be, is because what is currently happening as we're going through the script, we're reading it, we're getting the, the path to the image, we're reading it in, we're and then we're displaying it and then exiting. So what's happening in the program is it's really quickly displaying it or starting that up and then it's realizing, oh, okay, I'm done. So it doesn't really, it doesn't like wait, right? When you do this I am show, it doesn't, you know, hold and wait so that everyone can just, you know, see it. So to do that, you're gonna have to use another call that's gonna be CV2 dot wait uh, key and then a lot of times people just pass in a delay uh, and I'll pass in zero um, you can do other things here um, for how long and I believe the wait key for the delay is the um, delay in like seconds I believe um, I can't remember 100% on this but oftentimes when you put in a zero oftentimes this will wait for the user to hit a button um, and then you can do other things to like you know set it up that if it's a specific button then it exits or whatever the case may be uh, but essentially now if I run this 
what you'll see is that the book cover displays. So we have our, our whole image. It'll display it usually in the size of the, of the image. Um, and then we have the title that we put in. Now, if you remember that the title that we put in for right here was test. So if I go ahead and I'm gonna just press a key on my keyboard and now it exits. If we change this to, maybe we want this to be the image path. Um, whoops, take that, put in the variable image path and then we rerun this. And then essentially you see right there at the very top um, is our the title that we put in, which was our image path name. Um, so just like that, that's how you can display a image in Python using the OpenCV library. Now there's a couple other libraries um, that you can use to do this as well. I often use OpenCV. I it just it's a very popular out. Um, in it's a very popular image library that is used um, and there's several others that I could cover as well. But I hope this provided value. If it did, please leave a comment in the comments below or if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comments below. If you like this, please hit the like button. Um, until next time, keep on programming.